just happened to be wearing this shirt and I saw my reflection. I was like, oh, I'm wearing my Golden Girls shirt. So That is the Golden Girls, yes. That's the theme song. I have no idea. This, this is a good parking spot. Ooh, yeah, this will be close We got a nice little citrus little tree. fruit tree going on here. Uh, yeah. So we are here to record that. Let's yeah. go check it we're out. We're going to go out to the pier. But before we do, welcome to Photographers and Cars, our newest episode yet. Hello. And we're not going to spend much time in the car at all. Mm -mm. Uh, skies are looking pretty nice. There's some interesting mist and clouds flowing in off the ocean above Scripps Pier. There's a really cool mushroom house. Thing that's down by the cliff, so if you got a drone, you can pop it out. Hmm, I do stuff. happen to have a drone. <laughs> I'm Spencer Pablo. Scott Davenport. Let's get going. Yeah. I brought one lens today. The 70 to 200. Sunset is fading, but it's still really nice. You got some drone stuff going on? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, think so. I hope you know. That was difficulter. Difficulter. It was even more difficulter than than ever. Yeah. It's it's different setting up the cameras outside of the car. It's a lot easier in the car. It, it is. <laughs> it's, it is so weird. <laughs> That's why we're not photographers at tables. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what? This this is comfortable. This was nice. No, this is a good spot. It's a good uh, temperature. Yes. Yeah, it's cooling off finally. I mean, we're at the ocean, so. Thank you for being a friend. Wow. Squad. Is that the, was the shirt part of that? No, oh, okay. I just happened to be wearing this shirt, and I saw my reflection. I was like, oh, I'm wearing my Golden Girls shirt, so. That is the Golden Girls, yes. That's the theme song, right? I have no idea. Oh wow! I mean, I know the show. Well, then that must have just been weird, like Spencer. It, it was you actually. I was like, "Where is this going?" <laughs> okay. And this is the end of the podcast. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. Um, yeah. So, so anyway, so what, what did you get while you were out there? Um, flew the drone. Wanted to go take a, a some video of the pier, video of or a, a photo of that strange circular house. The mushroom house. The mushroom house. Yeah. You know, the, the backstory of that thing, it's actually a guest house for one of the like super nice homes here. The guy who built it wanted to have a guest house down there. It's apparently some mechanized elevator. I was going to say... up and down to get to it. Because that's, yeah. that's a really cool guest house. Or if it, it wasn't, if there was no elevator, that's a pretty... Oh, I don't know how you'd get down there otherwise. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Yeah. That cliff face. But how, how about you? How'd your shots turn out? Um, okay, I, I made the, the rookie error of putting the wrong filter on the front where I thought I had a four stop. It turned out to be my six stop, and I kept wondering, why are all my calculations on? That's okay. You're learning. You just picked up I a camera like a week ago. I just got the filters. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yep. I was wondering why they didn't have rounded edges, you know, on yeah. the corners, because that's, that's just nicer with yeah, so yeah, that was like, you know, you get into habits of I put everything back in a certain way, and obviously the last time I used the bag, I was in a rush for something, and didn't, and I didn't bother checking. Yeah, Your exposure did come out dark, but it gave a really moody look. It was kind of, yeah, like, you know, ominous type thing, so yeah. we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'm a little afraid the shadows yeah. won't be there, and the pier will be um, at best silhouette. Yeah, best I silhouette. I brought filters, I just confirmed, I brought them, didn't use them. <laughs> Well, you only brought the one big yeah. lens and the drone, so yeah. Yeah, so I uh, I looked at my collection and I was like, you know what? I haven't used my seventy to two hundred very much. Like when I shoot a wedding, you know, when I shoot an event or something like that, I like to use my primes. Uh, and I'm like, you know what? The seventy to two hundred still very good. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot with with this with this thing here and see what what I come up with. It was it was all right. Yeah, it's um. That is by far my least used lens. Mm -hmm. Of course, given what I shoot, that shouldn't be a surprise. I'm hoping to get more use out of it when I go to Acadia Park next month. Oh! Because uh, I was talking with someone, you know, a friend of my other YouTube channel, and he was just there over the summer. And I was saying, yeah, I was surprised how often he broke out his longer lens yeah. for things. So I was like, oh, okay, you yeah, know, well, I'll hopefully put that lens to some good use. Wow. So, otherwise, it stays at home, or sometimes it comes along and just sits in a bag. Yeah. You know, so. 
Well, the funny thing, so I, I use my wides a lot, and then I'll use my 24 to 105 mm, yeah. a lot. Uh -huh. And then I'll use my 100 to 400 a decent amount, but it shoots at F4, 5 to 5.6 5, or something like that. Okay, so it's a variable. Yeah, uh, yeah, this one's a nice 2.8, but I, I never touch it. I don't use this thing. If I'm in this focal length, I'm usually at about 135 when I do an event, and I have a 135 f1.8 zoom. I'm sorry, f1.8 prime Five. that I use instead, but I cannot get rid of this lens. I love the way it renders <laughs> colors. When I do use it, I'm surprised. I'm just like, oh, that's why I have you. So you mentioned that you like it because of the way it renders colors. Are you taking the, the JPEGs or the you know, quick shooting them off to your uh, mobile phone directly all the time? Because otherwise, when shooting raw, I mean, yeah, I care about, you know, capturing the data, but I'm less concerned about, you know, the color usually looks a little flat anyway. So, you know, so this is interesting. Yeah. This is the, this is the first gen A-mount 70 to 200. Um, so I actually have an adapter I, so I, I can use it. with noticed with that this. too, yeah. Um, but the colors are, you know, like I, I like shooting with Zeiss a lot and the colors are robust and you get that cool, like, micro contrast 3D look. With this one here, the colors are... Uh, uh, they tend to be just a, just a little cooler, okay. a little muted compared to the Zeiss, and it's it's surprising. It's pleasing to my eye sockets. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shirt that says "Pleasing I to was my eye sockets." For that phrase, you say that a lot. <laughs> pleasing to my eye sockets. Yeah. Allow me to dump some knowledge into your ear holes now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I do say that as well. Great. So yeah, no, the, this is a this is the. The first, uh, the first gen, like I said, so this is old. I want to say this is about a, it's over ten years old. This lens oh, here. Oh wow! Okay. So uh, yeah, this predates the the E mount. Uh, this. And so I mean, I nice. guess at that point too, sorry, it's a ten year old lens. Mm -hmm. yeah, the likelihood of selling it off for anything meaningful versus I want to keep it, have it in your arsenal, bring it out every once in a while. True. Keep it. Yeah. True. I mean, it's it's. I don't know how much it's worth, but it actually has never even entered my mind. I know enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people in my family and or my friends who shoot a mount that i'll be like hey do you need to use this ah, okay. just let me know yeah. and you can you can use it but yeah so cool. all in all i think uh, our outing here uh it was kind of nice to see some clouds it very nice to enjoy this because i know it was just under 90 degrees at my it house earlier today hot today but out here it's oh. it's gorgeous it's like what low 70 and now that the sun's gone down the humidity you don't even notice mm -hmm. that it's just more like you know that ocean air wrapping your body in a cozy blanket yeah this is the this is my san diego the sweatshirt maybe hot cocoa and flip-flops because because it's, <laughs> it's winter on top you know summer on the bottom uh -huh. oh, yeah. thing. Okay. that's a san diego typical <laughs> attire so yeah all in all yeah. i think uh, our, i think uh, the shots came out okay but i know you were doing uh kind of a sight check this was mainly i needed to get out to uh, you know check all the various spots for um upcoming workshop which will be happening handful of days now as this goes up i think it's like two days away so i make sure that i get to everything. i can't wait uh, now that I'm, now that i'm backtracking either the workshop just finished or it just started this is the problem with recording things before <laughs> they release this is like you know for Carry the two for me it's in the future but for you it's right now or if you're watching this in the future it's the past so process that it's kind of like and, when you look at yeah. those stars and you're doing astrophotography and you wonder some of these stars don't even exist anymore, yeah. dude. Yeah, it took yeah. a billion, billion years for that light to get mm -hmm. here. That star's gone. Yeah. Yeah, which is a bummer. So I really miss that star. I do miss that star. Speaking <laughs> of being gone, uh, I'm hungry. Let's be gone. Yeah. Let's be gone. I am hungry. All right, those are all. Salad on my mind. Salad on my mind. Is that a Willie Nelson song? Salad on my mind.